1510 and WPME TV. I'm Ray Richardson. Good morning. Thanks for being here. The skies are blue. The sun is shining, but it is cold, ladies and gentlemen. It is very cold outside. It was below zero at my home this morning at about five o'clock. I don't know what it is now, but whatever it is, it's cold. It's even cold for me, which is very, very rare. In the studio, I'm sure it's cold on the coastal section of Scarborough today as well. It was negative six. Negative six. Yes. Wow. And that's official because it comes from state representative Amy Volk. Absolutely. Good morning. That's right. Nice to see you. Thank you. So it's negative six on the coastal Scarborough. Yeah, we're usually actually a little bit warmer than uh, because of the ocean. Yeah, yeah, I would but, think so. So I imagine it was even colder at your house. <laughs> it was very cold there. I know that. I don't know how cold it was, but I did not want to get out. We uh, for Christmas we got one of these mattress pads that is, that is heated. Oh, we have that. Oh, I'm yeah. telling you, it does make a difference. And we have uh, memory foam that's about I don't know how thick, three or yeah. four inches thick, and that retains heat. So it's just very toasty with that down wow. comforter. I did. Not want to get up this morning. <laughs> hey, you had a nice thing happen to your family. Before we get on to business here, you had a yep. nice thing happen to your family. Tell us about it. Um, well, every year the Scarborough Leader, which is our local paper that goes to every home in Scarborough um, on Fridays, uh, has a nomination process for a great person of the year. And my husband was nominated, oh. much to his surprise, by. Um, somebody that he worked really closely with in a, in a Scarborough organization called Young Life and um, he ended up winning the really? uh, yeah then it's voted on the nominees are put in the newspaper with a little bit about each of them and there were a lot of nominees this year a lot of great great people and um, so he really was not expecting to win but um, he did which but he prevailed great. yes wow, he's great. Scarborough leader great person of the year of the year. Yes. Wow, that's that's a pretty nice, because you have a lot of great people in Scarborough. Absolutely. The there stiff was, competition there, was some, there, there was some tough, tough competition, yeah. Wow. Well, and your husband's <laughs> name is Derek, yes. and that is fantastic. Derek He's, Volk. He is, in fact, going to be a guest here. You, uh, Your family has Volk Packaging, Correct. and um, which I, I knew was a successful business. I didn't realize how successful until the other day when I saw one of your semis rolling by and I just thought to myself you know there are so many wonderful business people and businesses here in the state of Maine that people don't know about yeah. unless you do business with them yeah. turns out that uh, uh, Peter Boldick who is here every Tuesday talking about a startup and your husband have done business together for years through the Apple company so I just thought wow why not have him come in and talk about what he's doing I want to celebrate business people who are getting it done yeah. who are who are thriving, who are hiring, who are making Maine as part of the special place that it is. And and one of the reasons that they are so successful, they're a third generation family business, which it's it's pretty rare to get to the third generation it even. Is. I mean you got um, places like Hussey Seating that are like fifth or sixth generation or something right. like that crazy but um that's really really rare even third getting to the third generation is quite an accomplishment and you know one of the reasons they've been able to do that successfully is um i think derek's influence and you know he works now with his uncle his dad is retired um his dad was a guest here he ran marathons right? and all seven continents that's right yeah he's also a great person yeah he is a great guy <laughs> well right down the street here from our studio we have a wonderful company wa messer i believe I believe they started in 1899, I think that, but they've been over 100 years, I know yeah. that. Yeah. And just, uh, you know, it's a wonderful company um, that I believe they are fourth generation now. But you're right, it is with this crazy changing business climate and all the economic calamities that business face. I realize they're all evil because they're rich and you know and all this other stuff but there's a lot of calamities that small business face in this country and to get that far down the path third generation fourth generation is just amazing yeah yeah I think Hussey seating was 1875 Wow we were able to take a tour um, they were part of the legislative bus tour this week oh, that really? we were all on and um, so and they're a, a very loyal customer of Volk packaging so I've heard of them for years and um, just never quite made it down myself for a tour, but um, that was a real privilege to get to do. That. Yeah, they're a great company. I know they I, I, they've done seating for all kinds of places around the yeah. country. One of the places that I know they did was uh, Raymond James Stadium down in Tampa, for oh. the, where the Tampa Bay Buccaneers all, yeah, play. Yeah, all over the world. Yeah, just amazing stuff, no doubt. Well, obviously, one of the reasons Volk is so successful is your husband is a great guy. As voted by the people of Scarborough, right? And cool. and actually, a lot of a lot of so you know several of his employees kind of took the ball and ran with it and um, voted so that's for a, him. That's and, a really cool thing. Yeah, so it's great. They're it's a it's a fun place. They make it a fun place for people to work. They have. Um, 
a lot of people who have more than one person in their family who works there or has worked there because they enjoy it so much. They they get family members employed, and they're very loyal. That's a um, testimony people rarely, in itself. Yeah, people people just don't leave. They don't have a lot of turnover. Well, that's so. fantastic. Well, I just thought it was nice for you to be able to tell that on the air, and I look forward to talking with him when he's in here very soon. Let's go to Augusta real quick. Okay. You're up in the legislature. Mm -hmm. You're back in session. Um, we know that the big topic of conversation is the Department of Health and Human Services budget. Governor LePage has put forward a proposal that would cut $221 million out of, out of the budget over a two-year period, and there's a lot of wrangling, I'm going to use that word, going on between both sides. What are you hearing? How involved are you in this process? Honestly, I'm not terribly involved in the process because I'm not on the HHS committee. Um, Representative Soraki from the other side of Scarborough is very, very involved, right. very, very knowledgeable. So I, I honestly depend on her quite a bit for a lot of that intimate um, information. And um, but you know, right now we're all focusing on our own committees and we're letting them do the work. There's a big respect in Augusta um, for the work that's done in committee. And so, you know, this is something that the HHS committee and appropriations are in the process of working out. And, you know, I mean, our, our caucus, and I'm sure the minority caucus will have a say in what happens. Sure. But, um, you know. So what, what are I, you hearing, though? I mean, the governor's put forward this proposal. Yeah. There has been um, an unprecedented, in my mind, wrangling by the minority, by the Democrats, over the veracity of the numbers. Are the numbers accurate? The numbers and are accurate. That has been established by OPEGA, which is an independent body, um, and so they have rigor, and by Maine Revenue Services. So um, I, I don't really know where the dispute in the numbers it's is. It's an unprecedented, from. it's just an attack yeah. on the but governor, it's, is it's, what it really it is. is. It is. And, um, we have to ignore that because, unfortunately, a lot of the press, you know, you're the exception, but a lot of the press does not permit us to get our story out there, um, and that can be very frustrating. Well, if you get your story out there, then the people would know the truth. If they know the truth, they're not going to side with the Democrats. Right. I mean, that's, let's just right. be honest. Yeah. The press is very one-sided in this state. Well, and particularly in the role of the Department of Health and Human Services, mm -hmm. they don't want, for whatever reasons, um, these things to come forward. I mean, they put a lid on the main Turnpike Authority stuff. I talked.